Nintendo's Game Boy Advance launches today here in the U.S. The long-awaited mobile gaming machine has some rather impressive features. Our gaming experts, Extended Play's Adam Sessler and Tech TV Lab's Ray Weigel, are over at the demo lab set, ready to give us an in-depth look at the Advance. Gentlemen? Yes, yes. Well, Start your Game Boys. <laughs> All right, we've started. Well, today is the day where handheld gaming has taken another leap forward with the Game Boy Advance. This is from Nintendo. And, um, well, Ray was quite impressed with it and gave it five out of five in his demo. Um, I, I may ask about the feelings, but how would you go ahead and first give your... Yeah, we, uh, I looked at it all weekend, talked with all Adam's cronies on Extended Play, and we decided to give it five out of five stars. Now, take a look at this. This, uh, the old Game Boy, if you can see this, the old Game Boy is an 8-bit processor. This new one has a 32-bit processor in it, which means that in my hands now, I'm basically holding a Super Nintendo Entertainment System which used to be a big console, but they've taken all that technology and shrunk it down into your hands. Now, with the 32-bit processing power, you can see the graphics. Let me see if I can get this light a little better. Adam will talk about that in a minute. Yes. Light's a little problem. <laughs> but we can get 32,000 colors on this bad boy. The Game Boy Color, 56 colors. And the resolution on this is 240 by 160 pixels, where the Game Boy Color was only 160 by 140. But as you can see here, we're having some light problems. And yeah. Adam, what do you think about that? Well, this is, no, no, no. I'll, I'll first off, I'll saying I do like the Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. This is also the only game in town. But d due to the fact that it's from Nintendo, and even if there were other handheld gaming systems, this will probably be the best. But they still have repeated the same mistake that they made with the Game Boy Color, which is it's not lit from underneath which means that you have to have a light source directly hitting the top of the Game Boy Advance, and that can be a real problem, especially if it's nighttime, but even getting the right kind of light source. There are ways around this. They have worm lights, but I really find that it really does detract from being able to sit and play the game for a while. I was, I was trying to get over the weekend, and just sitting in my room and trying to play by the window, I was having to contort myself into strange right. yoga positions, and then, you know, the sun goes down over time, and so I'm having to move around. I, right. I feel like, you know, one of those, those, those dials that, that right. the Greeks used to use. As you can see right there when we were showing it off, uh, the light is not the best on it. I still like it, and after talking to everybody on Extended Play, five out of five stars. Um, and like Adam said, it is the only game in town, so, you know, eventually I'm going to own a Game Boy Advance, and I'm pretty sure that eventually yeah, Adam's going to own one, too. Yes. So, uh, we do like it, but the lighting is a little shady. You might need to get an extra light for it. Yes, I would say so. And, and, and once again, there's, there's quite a few games out. And these are, many of these games are, are games that have been used before on the Super Nintendo system. And that was considered the golden era of gaming. So right. there are some great games, so maybe we'll see some more innovative stuff in the future. Yeah, great. Thanks a lot.